Good afternoon, children. Welcome back. Come on. Today again we will start with the history only. The second last topic of the lesson that is old and the new religion. In a thousand years of history, let the impact on the religion and the religious traditions. During this period, the important changes occurred in the Hinduism. Children, this included the worship of the deities, the construction of the temples, and the growing importance of the Brahmins and the priests as the dominant group in the society. As the common people was not uh, aware of the Sanskrit text, so they were totally dependent on these Brahmins for the interpretation of the religious text. As a result of this, the dominant group start was supported by the new rulers in the society. One of the major development during this period was the emergence of the bhakti. The migrants and the merchants who came to the subcontinent they brought the teachings of Quran in the 7th century. The Muslims considered this Quran as a holy book. The followers interpreted the Islam in a different way. The Shia Muslims believed that Ali, the son-in-law of Prophet Muhammad, was the real leader of the Muslim community. And the Sunni Muslims considered the Khalifa as the real leader of the Muslim community. Now we will start with the last topic of the lesson that is the thinking about the time and the historical period. Children, time is an important evidence which tells us how the changes took place in the social and the economical organization during thousands of years. Now, how the system get transformed from one period to another during the years. Now, in the thousand years, we see the importance of the uh, earlier period. That the early man, early so in early societies, early people live as a hunter, gatherers, and then the for as a farmers. So the emergence of the new societies came into existence as the early people is move from one place to early people move from one place to another there was the uh, establishment of the small small kingdoms and the emergence of the uh, large empire took place during this period then children comes the medieval period in this medieval period we have seen number of changes so we have seen the changes in the uh, religion, Hinduism also, the importance of the Hinduism increase, uh, was uh, increased. But at the same time, we have the people who were following the Islam religion. So the importance of the Islam religion also was there during the medieval period. So the number of the changes we have seen during this period. So children, when we think about the time and the historical period, so time was now the very most important evidence during through which we come to know how the changes occur during this period and the historical period that our history was divided into ancient, medieval and modern. When we compare our history with the ancient as the hunter-gatherers, huh, their people were moving from one place to another and how the changes took place, how the changes uh, took place in the emergence of the new kingdom, the small small kingdoms were developed during this period. Then the medieval period in which the Hinduism and the Islam religion was given the importance. So the people, the period from ancient to medieval and from medieval to now we have reached up to the modern in which the modern period, the technology has developed so much that we have reached to the peak. So children from 700 to 750 we have seen how many changes occurred during these thousand years. So now children you will read the lesson thoroughly, read each and every concept twice so that you will try to understand the explanation properly. So today we have completed lesson number one tracing changes to the thousand years and next period I have, we will start with the question and answers that is textual question and answers and the worksheet which has been given to you. I will give you the solution of the same to the PDF. Thank you.